In today's exercise, we will examine the maintenance procedures for our SL swivel. The SL is used primarily with our rigid lancing machines and features three models, one with a half-inch MPT inlet and two with 9 sixteenths MP inlets. Secure the SL in a vise with the inlet and up. Remove the weep seal. Loosen the inlet nut with a crescent wrench and unscrew. Note the carbide seat on top of the shaft. Remove it and examine for wear. Using a pick, remove the blue high pressure seal and the spring beneath it. Now slide the shaft out of the body, exposing the three bearing sets on the shaft. Remove the bearings from the shaft using a press. Once the bearings are removed, wash all the parts in a solvent and blow dry. Your disassembly is now complete. Begin the reassembly process by greasing the bearing sets. It is important that all six sides of the bearings have a generous amount of grease. Using a press, mount the bearings on the shaft. Now flip the assembly and press on the next bearings. Remember to grease each side after you press them on. Continue mounting the bearings and greasing all sides until the three bearing sets are on the shaft and all are greased. Next, we'll mount the shaft seals in the body and the inlet nut. This is done at the press with two special mounting tools from Stone Age. We recommend using P80 Gripit or a similar lubricant when installing these seals. The first seal goes in the body using the RJ105 tool. Note the lip of the seal fits nicely on the end of the RJ105 tool. Now mount the seal in the body with the press. Press the second shaft seal into the inlet nut, this time using the Stone Age SL105 tool. Note the lip side of the seal faces down when being pressed into the inlet nut. With the shaft seals in place, grease them liberally in preparation for inserting the shaft. With the seals greased, you can now slide the shaft with the grease bearings into the body. Replace the spring, high pressure seal, and carbide seat. Grease each item before replacing. The high pressure seal and carbide seat are wear items and should be replaced if they are more than 50% worn. The carbide seat should be installed with the chamfer side up as shown. Now brush blue goop on the threads of the inlet nut and hand tighten into the body. We'll finish tightening the inlet nut in the vise in a moment. Slide the anti-vibe gland on the shaft and then apply blue goop to the threads on the shaft. Screw the collar onto the shaft. Note the collar screws on with left hand threads. When properly mounted, one to two threads on the end of the shaft should be exposed. Do not over tighten. Move the swivel back to the vise and secure using the wrench flats on the body. When tightening the inlet nut, we recommend using a pick down the shaft to ensure the carbide seat stays perfectly centered. With that accomplished, you can now use a crescent wrench to crank it down. Finally, replace the weep seal on the inlet nut. Your assembly is now complete. Thanks, and as always, our technical specialists are on hand to answer any questions or procedural issues you may have.